Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Barely Necessities. I'm Rebecca Mosley, and with me is the site manager here at Laughing Place, Rebecca Burbank. Hey, Becca. Hey, Rebecca. How are you today? I'm doing really well. How about you? I'm good. We've had a lot of merchandise. I, I'm going to show off uh, some stuff really quick. We went shopping um, on Shop Disney, and so I got the little, like, Grogu plush <gasps> oh. with the soup. He's smaller than I was anticipating, but he arrived this weekend, so I'm very, very happy about that. So he's oh, he's very cute. Oh, I like his little, like, semi-grumpy face. I know. It's so adorable. And then the other thing we got was the weighted plush Winnie the Pooh. I've heard so. he's proven quite popular with Kyle. Yes. Oh, yes. So <laughs> we're very, very happy with these Disney purchases. And this is like that three pound weight, like a sil silica beads in there. So uh, yeah. very nice. So I'm doing very well. I had lots of fun shopping. Oh, man. Now I'm a little jealous. So I'm like, I was trying to think, did I? No, I haven't. I haven't really done any shopping for me. I did buy my son some clothes at the uh, local Disney outlet. Um, which he has been wearing on uh, Disney Trivia Live. So uh, if you saw Gideon's new shirt with like the pretzels and stuff, he we picked those up at the local outlet. So oh, fun. yeah, so we also did some shopping. You know what I noticed there that I hadn't, I haven't seen yet on um, Laughing Place are the um, the notebooks that have the um, like folders in between the okay. sections. Those are really sweet. So as I'm, you know, I'm kind of beginning to get into that. We're about to hit summer break, right. but once you hit summer break, then you already start thinking about the supplies for next year. And so I'm already beginning to take a peek at some of the kind of notebooks and school stuff. Oh, look at this. Kyle says he likes that Pooh can sit up on his own and he's hard to tip over. He, he is. You can't see that he's on the table, but I'm, I'm not holding oh, him. Oh, wow. Oh, he is really sturdy. Oh, that's adorable. He's falling off because he's on the edge of the table, but no, this is... Oh, that's really cute. Well, today is June 29th, which means just three days ago, it was 626, otherwise known as Stitch Day around these parts. Yes. And uh, Shop Disney had a lot of fun Stitch stuff out there. They did. And I know we've missed it by three days, but because this stuff isn't limited edition and it's all still available, I'm like, we need to talk about this. I agree. Uh, that dress that's in the photo there. Um, we saw that a couple of weeks ago at Downtown Disney. Mike took a picture of it. And so I'm so happy to see that it arrived on, on Shop Disney because I looked for it as soon as he tweeted and I'm like, I can't find it. <laughs> Some of the details that I really enjoy about this uh, sundress are the cross straps in the back. Mm -hmm. But then as they've been doing with more and more of these designs is they have the embroidered element. This one is also on the like the right shoulder blade area. And it's a surfboard with stitches signature. And uh, this is over now at Shop Disney. Here's a close up of the print. You can see that, you know, Stitch is up to his usual uh, craziness all over these beautiful hibiscus flowers. Uh, yes. What caught my eye among the items, the many, many items, uh, was this sparkly diamond edition um, Entertainment Earth exclusive. It's mm -hmm. a Funko and it's Stitch playing the guitar. So that's over at Entertainment Earth. Yes, and it's a pre-order, I believe. It was still available yes. when I last looked. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's it's still it's still it's still okay. right there. It's a pre-order, so yeah, they've still got that over there. They've also uh, over back at over at uh, Shop Disney to accentuate uh, that beautiful dress. They have this uh, record album purse. Oh, look, Geo got the uh, non-glitter version of uh, oh. ukulele playing Stitch. Um, the interior of this purse is really pretty with the blue and the flowers. Yeah. Hi, Johnny. Hey. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, the Funko, huh? Right. That was on Shop Disney. Yeah. The the rides pop, I believe they're called. And yeah, he's just... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you needed a mug, they had a unique mug. Okay. I kind of like the idea and I kind of feel like you're cheating somebody out of you know a portion of holding like it's gonna be a much larger mug than for the amount of liquid it holds but it looks cute if this is solid i haven't seen it in person if this is solid all along the the 
top of his mouth so that it's like a smaller cup of coffee. But then it has this little portion down here where I can put my donut. I, I'm, I'm okay. kind of liking the idea. That's and I wasn't thinking that creatively. I like that. Yeah. Put your donut uh, there. Stitch yeah. will hold it. Yeah, because I was I was see the way that so I wasn't I can't quite tell from the picture just how far back that goes. Otherwise, I'm just thinking that this feels like it would be a bear to clean. So Wait. it's it's what are the it's either incredibly creative or mm, I'd probably pass because I wouldn't want to have to deal with like trying to, to get in there. Yeah. The, cleaner on the curve um at disneyland they had a uh, tie-dye spirit jersey stitch munching on the uh S disneyland logo <laughs> along with uh experiment 626 highlighted and uh my husband points out that stitch would not give you back your donut but don't you think it's very stitch like to kind of just spew it at you like yes. you know you'd have like yes exactly <laughs> Oh, that's what that's where I went. Uh, we've got this stitch journal where he uh, is found on the various uh, corners. So cute. So lots and lots of um, items over there. The Monopoly, uh, water bottles, pencil cases. And Becca and the team collected all of these into a, a kind of roundup of stitch products. And you'll be able to find that link right at uh, the beneath us here also coming soon becca yes it's on friday july 2nd we're gonna get the uh series i don't remember which number it is now six six there we go <laughs> that makes sense um, mm -hmm. theme to aladdin so that's coming and it'll be seven o'clock in the morning and yeah uh, there you go so it it, for that. it looks like the magic carpet right the magic he's uh they, they've made a stitch plus out of the magic carpet they have what appears to be like abu's hat on top of his head, there's some gold uh, lamp style elements mm -hmm. to to his uh, fingers, and of course, this is a magic band plush and pin. So yeah. be sure to keep an eye over at Shop Disney if you're in the market for the uh, continuing Stitch Crashes series. I oh, forgot yeah. about and the lounge fly. Lounge fly. Lounge fly had a couple of items as well. Um, that backpack, and uh, there's a wallet, a crossbody bag, and the pin. And I just think it's so cute with the ducks. And it, I don't know what book he's reading. I I don't know if it's the Ugly Duckling or the Little Lost Duckling, but it's it's one of those, right? The the artwork is is like Disney's The Ugly Duckling. Um, okay animated uh silly symphony so that's totally what i think of um the pin is an act it actually um the one that's on top of his head is uh a movable so oh. he can like kind of disappear a little bit behind his head and pop back up so really really cute pins and these are from lounge fly and they're still available so. <laughs> <laughs> um over at oh are these um are these shop disney as well these uh baby wraps so th those baby wraps are are not at Shop Disney. They're at um, Moby Wraps, but there are some Disney baby items at Shop Disney. Okay. So these are two new nude patterns. They already had three Disney patterns, and now they have two more. And those launched today. And yeah, it's this. Um, I guess baby wearing is kind of the term. Yes. And <laughs> it's one of these things where I'm like actually really excited about the product even though i have absolutely no need for it <laughs> like i d don't have any children i'm not planning on having any children in the next couple of months you know so it's like <laughs> moby wraps are very popular this is one of the brands and they've been around for a while because my son is 12 and i i remember moby wraps from when he was he was young and uh now that they have these Disney prints, that is so cute. Um, mm -hmm. This one is pink with mini and the um, mini bow. And then they had some other design that was uh, came out today that is black with the class, the black. Is it is it black or is it navy? No, it's black, it's black. Um, with the with the mini with the Mickey head, the iconic uh, Mickey head uh, imprinted all over it. So so these are over there from um, Moby Wraps. Mm -hmm. Also at Shop Disney, this is what I was thinking about. Yep. They unveiled several new um, Disney baby items, a collection of swaddle cloths, a cl um, some bibs, some blankets. Um, the pattern on the uh, 
to the right is the collection of princesses. Yes. And these are really sweet with uh, Tiana, Belle, Ariel. Yeah, I thought they I thought they were really cute. And then on the site, of course, they have a picture of the baby swaddled, and it's just so adorable. <laughs> the the gingham pattern, um, rather than featuring the princesses' faces, it's I icons you connect with them so a seashell or a rose or a little crown so it, you know it's a really sweet collection of uh designs and then they also have some winnie the pooh designs and this is the classic winnie the pooh yes uh not the uh round and fluffy uh not quite as round and fluffy as uh <laughs> the the one that we've all seen from disney uh here's some others of the uh classic Winnie the Pooh, and these are all at Shop Disney. Yeah. Um, also, they shared uh, some new Petunia pickle bottom mm -hmm. uh, back uh, diaper bags and uh, gear to uh, you know carry around your diaper stuff. But once again, I will tell you, don't narrow yourself down into thinking it has to be just for that. For example, this item right here is um, called is for uh, you know b bottles. Mm -hmm. But you could just as easily put your cold pack in there and you can uh, carry your own juice or lunch items. Um, the bag, the backpack itself is, has uh, several pockets. And for moms, you know, this is great for the diaper changing to keep everything very easy to grab the wipes, grab the diapers. But theme park mom, active family on the go, once again, you know, these types of bags can continue to be useful beyond the diaper era. Right. <laughs> yeah. And like we've talked about before, the patterns are very, like, they're very, I don't know, family friendly, not family friendly, but it, it's just something that, like you said, you can carry it beyond that diaper era and it doesn't feel like, oh, <laughs> you're carrying something that's obviously meant for small children or designed, you know, for small children. So... Yes. <laughs> no, I agreed. And that's part of why I'm, I keep I keep kind of grimacing a bit at this uh, diaper backpack look here because I feel like it, you know, it can go it can go beyond the diaper backpack era. They've also got these. Um, oh, the word's not coming to me, Becca. Hang on. Let me let me scroll down. It'll be in their description. <laughs> um, no, it's one of those things today. Insulated. Yes. I was looking for the word insulated, but this is an, a, a sweet little insulated pack. And, you know, you could put, you could put a snack in there for you. It's it. You, I like Mickey. So it, it's nice and small and uh, you can carry it with you. It'll keep it cold. Same here. And this one, this item measures 12 inches, which means that a stitch water bottle we saw, oh. you can, you can set it, you can set it in, in inside there. And um, the nice thing is, is that will keep those items, a lot of the Disney stainless steel bottles aren't um, double walled, and so okay. they can sweat. And uh, if you have them inside one of these, not only will it keep it cooler, but it'll also keep it from, uh, you know, kind of sweating on the uh, on other items in your bag. I see everybody in the chat is like talking about as if I'm shopping for it. Have you noticed how my conversation here is all about how this doesn't have to be a diaper bag? You use it into the future. Nope. No, 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 no little ones. Doobie is, Doobie is not, not nervous. It's all good. <laughs> I've got no, no, no big announcements to, to share with Doobie. No, it's just, <laughs> yes, Disney just happened to give us some new baby products and we don't talk about them often, but you know. <laughs> I love it. Oh my. Um, let's see. Dooney and Burke has a new design. Mm -hmm. This is a very pretty small world. I, th I think it's pretty small world design. And as we know, the Disneyland version of the ride or iteration of the ride just had its 55th anniversary. So kind of perfect timing for this collection. Uh, they did have three designs. The tote sold out, but the wallet and the satchel are still available. And that was as of this afternoon, I checked. So... Um, Can yeah. you tell that Becca feels really burned by the fact that there's been a few times lately that she's been super excited and talked very glowingly about something only to click after the show and realize that it is yes. sold out while we were talking about it? <laughs> I know. This stuff happens. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay, Becca. <laughs> they won't blame you. I hope not. 
Oh, there's a green penguin that looks like Perry the platypus. Oh, I'm gonna have to find that I picture. Think it's one, yeah, like one of the animals from the. I don't. Remember. Oh, it does. Oh, because you know why? Okay, I know why. It's because the it's the Argent Argentina, like the penguins that you found down in South America, and so they have kind of uh, the Argentinian style hat. I, I, okay. I, I suspect is is what that's about. It gives it a pair. And so that and that's why. So yeah, because I can see it right here. He, yes, it makes it. He, it's almost like a fedora. Ooh, Valerie has the haunted mansion one. Oh. I know those were those proved very popular. Yeah, um, I have not dived into the Dooney, uh bags, but friends no. of mine, friends of mine have, and they hold up really well. So I know sometimes I don't. I don't tend to buy purses in that price range, but mm -hmm. seeing the longevity and how beautiful their purses still look, even after right. they've been used for a while, uh, it, it has made me look at them um, more carefully and not be as intimidated um, by that price point. Oh, see, Valerie's coming in and say, yes, they do. Well, and I know they're also, they don't do strictly Disney, but my introduction to Dooney and Burke was through Disney. So anytime I see something that isn't, I'm like, is this right? Are they supposed to be making bags and wallets that aren't Disney themed? But of course they are. Speaking, speaking of Dooney, I suspect part of how you came to Dooney was through your run Disney fun. And did you see the, the t teaser tweet Facebook -y yes. thing they did today? Yes, I did. And I'm hoping that there'll be an in-person race this year because then I can say I've done one every single year since 2012. So I oh. didn't sign up for any of the virtual ones this year. That was my own fault. But <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. If not, at least uh, it looks like it's so much closer than it has been. So for those of you who hadn't seen it, Run Disney did a tweet and said, stay tuned for wonderful news. So, yes. you know, so we're all we're all excited. I'm 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 thrilled for my numerous run fans. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful for them. Earlier this week, you uh, sat down with Mike Mack, our Marvel expert here at mm -hmm. Laughing Place and talked about all the must haves in the world of Marvel. Yeah, so this is for episode three, and uh, it's called Lamentis, and we got to know the character of Sylvie a little bit better. She's the one there on the shirt that says, Love is Mischief. So several of the releases for this past week were themed to her, and there's that. There's, of course, a Funko Pop. One of my favorite things about her outfit is that she's got the full horn on one side and, the broken, and it's broken off on the other, oh. and of course, they've captured that beautifully on on the pop <laughs> and that yes i really like the headpiece set and those were limited edition i think of six thousand. again you've got the broken horn on one side and full horn on the other one for sylvie and one for loki and those were exclusive to gamestop and yeah it just some Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I was going to say, and those seem to have gone quickly because as you've mentioned that they're already listed as not available here uh, on their, uh, on their website. So. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, we don't know much about this at all, but it's a Marvel legends character version of her character. So I'm sure they'll, that Hasbro will be announcing more in the coming weeks. And then we'll be getting a cause baby figure as well. Uh, she seems a little, a uh, little frustrated. <laughs> yeah, just a wee bit. She's got a little bit of that intensity going on there. And then, oh, there was a shirt for uh, Ravana. Um, I think it's Raven Renslayer. Renslayer, I think is her last name. So, or her second name. <laughs> okay. But yeah. So lots of fun stuff once again um, from the world of Marvel, and there'll be a link for that here mm -hmm. as well. Um, Today, from the world of Star Wars, actually, our own Jeremiah spotted the Naboo um, spirit jersey uh, over at World of Disney. Uh, one of the reasons why I, this particular jer spirit jersey catches my eye is because of how well they, they bring that ombre coloring mm -hmm. that we find in Amidala's dress when she is there lakeside at um, Naboo. And mm -hmm. uh, the... The uh, her universe had previously done a dress 
with this similar ombre, which I did not purchase. And it's kind of one of those items that I'm sad I let slip by because it sold out. As you can see, it's still it's still listed on their website, I think just to mock me. But it, it's there and it says it says out of stock. So I, I may be having to pick up this uh, Naboo this jersey. spirit jersey because I the colors, it's like a sunset. Right. To me, it's right? It's pretty. The, the combination is really, really gorgeous. Um, Mike Celestino and I earlier this week actually discussed some new um, Star Wars titles that are coming to um, bookshelves. Right now, I am in the midst of reading Heir to the Empire. It's the first in the Thrawn trilogy. Um, so Mike is reading, I think he said he was reading Shatterpoint. Okay. Um, they've also uh, unveiled, uh, they also released the first title in the Darth Bane um, series. And, and what these are, are these are titles that came out back in the day, you know, shortly after, you know, Return of the Jedi and all that, when we really thought we were in the midst of quite the desert regarding Star Wars films, right? The original saga was, was you know, timed out for now. We weren't sure when there was going to be more. And so there were a lot of these kind of books that were filling that, that gap for all of us passionate uh, Star Wars fans. Uh, when Disney purchased Lucasfilm, a lot of those titles ended up in a category they called Legends. So they, so they were, in essence, you know, they weren't part of canon anymore. But now we're seeing more and more of those characters appear or being put back into the storyline. Not necessarily in the exact same way that they appear in these novels, but very, very similar. Like as in the case of, of uh, Thrawn. Thrawn, yeah. yeah. Thrawn, and I'm I'm hopeful that they'll that Mara Jade will make her way into into the new canon. Uh, she's one of the characters that I'd really love to see them bring over. I am uh, just meeting her. I have just okay. gotten to that point in this book, so I'm very excited because I know a lot of uh, my Star Wars friends have quite that passion for Mara Jade. So I'm. I am. I'm. I'm excited for that. Um, but these are out right now, and a second wave is coming. And Mike and I briefly um, talked about them, so I'll just mention them real quick here. And if you want more information about them, uh, check out Star Wars headlines from uh, Monday. But uh, Rogue Squadron is coming uh, in September, as well as Book Two, Rule of Two from the Darth Bane series. And they're gonna be releasing the final two titles of that Thrawn trilogy mm -hmm. by Timothy Zahn, Dark Force Rising and The Last Command. And so those are all coming from uh, Del Rey uh, later this year. I think uh, September 7th, if I, if I wrote the information down correctly. <laughs> I'll yep, it is. It is September. And Rock Love made me so happy today mm -hmm. and also made me th think about what I'm going to do regarding my budget. I, because I they didn't give us any pricing. <laughs> No, they haven't yet, but they've been teasing us about this series of lightsaber hilts that are coming throughout the remainder of this year. And uh, the first duo are coming uh, July 13th, and that is uh, Luke and uh, Darth Vader's sabers, and uh, Luke with the beautiful blue crystal, mm -hmm. and Vader's with this uh, intimidating red color. So I am I am so excited. Um, I've made a few, uh, oh, hey, check it out. My lightsaber hilt budget is infinite. Um, <laughs> well, there you go. He, he, may, he may regret that once he sees the price <laughs> on July 13th. Um, but, but it's been fun over the past few uh, uh, days trying to figure out uh, from the teaser who, what other hilts mm -hmm. are, are, are coming. And I, I do kind of agree with Doobie. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> you think it ring pops too? Yeah. So I'm sure um, Kylo Ren is among them here. I, I, yeah, I think he's I, probably the very next one, right? I, yeah, I suspect Mace Windu, Leia, Rey, um, possibly the Darksaber. I'm, okay. I'm wondering if we'll see Yoda. I'm not sure. The flat one, to be honest, is the one that I'm 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 not well informed enough to know. The others, I think I I think I've I've got I've got narrowed down pretty well to my guesses. But um but yeah, and that'll also give them a chance to have a range of colors because Mace Windows is purple, Yoda's is green, right, right? 
-hmm. that's my memory yeah so we'll be uh uh ray had a, a golden kind of a golden color as i recall so it will be fun uh to uh see those when they uh arrive uh the first two are coming july 13th as always i'm a big fan of the rock love collection uh find her artistry amazing and so very excited about what she's gonna bring yeah me too can't wait roosevelt's have made their way to shop disney becca i know i i figured you would have been so excited when they revealed this and i i was i was excited in in anticipation for your excitement so i i, I am i was like i was it was funny because it popped up initially as like that kin kinu flex i want to say is the word that oh kunu flex and i was like wait that's familiar and then when i clicked on the image i i yes these are roosevelt's um they actually, it's six different designs. So we've got the uh, Bounty Day um, print, which is, of course, you know, featuring our favorite bounty hunter, Boba Fett, and some of his more glorious moments, including the one where he's, you know, hold uh, there with uh, Carmenite uh, Han Solo. They have a, one that they're calling a uh, comic to the dark side, where they have uh, various comic book covers from the Star Wars saga, which I have most of these from back in the earliest days. Oh, wow. So I'm, I'm excited to see, see this as a shirt. And these are all in the range of uh, $64 for adults, uh, $40 or so for kids. Mm -hmm. The the button up uh, shirt that, ha that which is being made with the fabric now that gives it, it has a little bit more give. It isn't that same kind of starchy camp shirt uh, feel that, that you uh, may remember from uh, days gone by. This one, Building an Empire, features schematics and uh, concept sketches for uh, the Death Star and other elements of the Empire from the original trilogy. Um, we have Grandma's Couch. <laughs> I love that name. Now, here we've got X-Wing fighters and the rebel symbol along with the Empire and TIE fighters mm -hmm. in a pattern uh, that you might find on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, so neat. I love it. It's really cool. Well, and then they spell Maz like, is it Maz? Kits Maz Kanata. Kanata. Mm -hmm. Kanata. Okay. Yep. So, so very fun, fun clever. They're having a lot of fun all the way around. We've got Stay on Target featuring X-Wing fighters, Y-Wings, I think those are, and Falcons. This is where I wish I would have double checked with Mike, but you know, hey, I'll, it's my guess. I'm sure we're fine. <laughs> my favorite of these patterns is, is the trilogy yeah. where we have it, what I would consider iconic imagery uh, from, from the films, whether it be uh, right off the movie poster or various marketing, these are images that for me, at least, if you say Star Wars, uh, that image of Luke standing with Leia sitting at his feet just, you know, jumps right into your head. As yeah. Juby says, my childhood betting. Exactly. <laughs> e ex exactly. That's what, uh, or the uh, the moment with uh, Han and Leia and or the, the Tauntaun, like uh, just, yeah. It, no, I know. I know. It's so, it's so just, like, I'm so nostalgic for, it, <laughs> for the first time I watched the movies, you know, it makes me instantly happy. So <laughs> I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of this design. Oh, Hey, how did stitch sneak stitch, in there? Stitch snuck in there. Stitch, cra stitch crashed our stream. He did. Stitch is crashing everywhere. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, now that we've made it through the uh, Star Wars merchandise, I guess it's time for my uh, Sensational Seven. And this week, it's been a hot one. It's a hot one here. It's really hot in the Northwest where they are not used to temperatures like this. So I thought I would offer up a way to maybe keep your car just a little bit cooler. And so as is always the case, my list is organized with thought to the seven dwarfs. That would be sleepy, happy, grumpy, dopey, sneezy, bashful, and doc. First up, when I think of sleepy, I like to think of places that 
I'm carried off to in my dreams. And so here I chose this Aloha, you know, it's also Stitch Day, so. <laughs> so there you go. Perfect. Uh, the little Aloha. Oh, meanwhile, Valerie apparently is getting a lot of rain. Oh, that's funny. Jeffrey thinking of the Star Wars masks. Okay. Uh, sleepy happy. This these just make me happy when people have we had one of these for the longest time. When you walk out to the to the parking lot and somebody's purchased one of these and so their car looks like it stepped out of the world of radiator springs. I and like that. Just brings me joy. For Grumpy, I grab something from the world of Star Wars. It's Boba Fett. And his advisor is reflecting poor Han trapped in carbonite. So you know. Yeah, Grumpy thought, might want to trap some of the other dwarves in carbonite every once in a while. It, it feels like life goals, yeah. Uh, and for Dopey, I like to pick something that I just find absurd. And in this case, it's the Golden Girls traveling in your vehicle if this is your sunshade. Right. And this is over at Target uh, currently. So you've got uh, Rose and Blanche and Sophia all enjoying the, the uh, ride in the, in the car there. Um, sneezy. Okay. Are you ready, Becca? I'm ready. I couldn't figure it out. A lot of people are allergic to dogs. And they oh. sneeze. So I decided to, to pick a Disney dog's sunshade. Also, I think this shade is really sweet in the dog selection that you have. Because you have the, you know, 101 Dalmatians with Pongo, Perdita, Lucky, Patch. Um, you've also got Tramp and Lady and, and their, you know, brood along with Peg and Trusty. But right in the center, howling up a storm, looking so adorable, <laughs> is Copper. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. a hound dog. Arr we don't see copper very much. <laughs> so, yeah, no, he grabbed he grabbed my attention. So mm -hmm. I, I grabbed, them, so I picked him up. Um, I decided to go with a little bit of romance for the world of Bashful. I uh, picked this beautiful scene from uh, Spiral Hill, uh, the Spiral Hill scene from Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack and Sally. For some reason, I, when I think of Bashful, I often select images that are romance because I feel like that's one of those areas in life where we can all tend to be a little less forthcoming, a little bit more shy uh, about uh, what's going on. So I, I grabbed that. And finally for Doc, here's where I tend to go traditional. I tend to try and select something that is very uh, rather iconic. And in this case, I selected from uh, Box Lunch, you can find this at Box Lunch. It is the Millennium Falcon. So you can transform your vehicle into the Millennium Falcon piloted by Han Solo. I mean, is there anything better? <laughs> no, no. That I mean, that, that's a nice way to keep the sun off your seats. So, yes. and poor Gideon discovered the joys of hot, hot leather seats and oh. uh, shorts the other day. Oh. So. So yeah, not good at all. It's new because he hasn't been a front seat sitter until okay. until recently. He was always no, I'm getting the back seat. I'm getting the back seat. But now he's beginning to realize how much more fun it is in the front seat. You can like control <laughs> the air, control the radio. You know, have a little bit, have a little bit more. And he sat on that seat, and yes, ouch would be exactly what he's what he's about. Oh, oh, cool. Valerie has it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Doobie is having an inappropriate conversation. What a surprise. <laughs> my my husband can't take him anywhere. <laughs> I think we all feel about th that way about our uh, significant others every once in a while, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Hang on, Becca. I'm trying to pull up your uh, your list. So just give me one moment. My folder closed in the midst of the talk, I, I have it now. Okay, so I'm going to hit share so we can talk about the rest of the items that you'll be finding here at laughingplace.com that we weren't able to talk about during today's show.
Yeah, today was hard for me to narrow down what I wanted to talk about because there was so much. But we have a new Mickey Mouse animal print spirit jerseys, some Crocs and uh, biker pants over at Shop Disney. And Those are really cool. Um, I'm sorry to jump nope, in, but uh, good. they're have they done it before where because it, okay it's a solid color and then it's like got the animal print kind of almost on the like the underside oh, yeah. yeah that is so cool i hadn't seen them do that with the spirit jerseys yet so i mean well, was... and all the pictures they have show the shirt but they don't have it on anyone and i i wish they had it on someone just so i could see because kyle's initial thought was like oh i like that there's just that little pop of a pattern but i'm like it's not on the sides of it it's on the arms so curious to see what it looks like what now, it looks like on now you'll know when people are walking towards you or they're walking away from you like solid color they're walking towards you animal print they're walking away from you right <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's really fun. Um, there's also some Funko Pops, of course. There was a Hocus Pocus exclusive over at Spirit Halloween stores, and or yeah, Spirit Halloween stores. And it's Danny, the younger sister, and she's holding Binks, the black cat. So that's that's over there for you. And then there's a classic Hawkeye from the Marvel comics. So he's in his original costume, which is very different from what you've seen in the movies. Um, there's some Monsters Incorporated pop pins. They're the same size as the pops, but they're um, they're enamel pins. They're large pins. So, and they come with a little stand on the back so you can display them. But they won't take up as much room as as those boxes. <laughs> and then we've got the 25th anniversary of uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, and Esmeralda doll is coming on July 10th. There's the some... doll is beautiful. It is. It oh, really is. And I think we put it. I so think I made beautiful. it into the. It made it into the video, her, uh, her yeah. theme song. Yeah, so, yeah, and so there's beautiful. And a link, of course, to check. Uh, but yeah, that's coming soon. And then we also have the Daisy Duck collection. So she's on some new clothing for adults with daisies, of course. What, what else? And then there's some happy planners. Oasis, I think, is the uh, theme that they're going with. So if you're into planning for anything in your life and you want some Disney magic, and to go ahead and check those out and then we've got the cruella de vil cocktail dress with uh it's a it's a pretty dress it's a it's it's, it's a like a cross uh wrap v-neck yeah. type style where you have a little bit of they finally are bringing in kind of that dalmatian print look mm -hmm. um into this one so they're saying it's 101 dalmatians and not the new cruella movie but i do feel like the dress probably fits better with the new movie yeah I'm wondering if the, it felt like they were making a very conscious effort to keep kind of that black and white uh, Dalmatian print look a, very separate from the designs that they had been doing with Cruella. I can see that. Yeah. I'm, I, I was trying to think, I know we've looked at a lot of Cruella merchandise. And I was trying to think if we'd seen anything that really had kind of what had been her classic uh, design element of the black and white uh spots but I, I don't i don't think we've seen much of that no. with the with the modern and I, I you know and i can understand you want to totally uh right. separate out the classic cruella de vil of animation and and uh glenn close right that's the name yes, the, yes um from that. from what we what we now have um created by the actress whose name is not coming to me in the moment emma stone Emma Stone. There we go. Oh, Valerie saw the pop pins at GameStop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a little crown on the back and it's, it's kind of, it's almost like a, some of those photo frames that pop out. So it's just, it's just a small piece that pops out of the back and, or it's attached to the pin, but then yes, it will stand on display. Uh, as always, we've got lots going on here at Laughing Place. Uh, later tonight, my son and husband will be hosting Disney Trivia Live. That's a live game show right here on this YouTube channel. You can show off your Disney trivia knowledge against dozens of other passionate fans. And see, sometimes it's, can you figure out what trash can this is? Other times it's, um, what uh, year did this film open? What attraction has uh, the, um, you know, this quote? It can be from the world of movies, TV, uh, theme parks. It can be attractions, rides, restaurants, you name it. If it's in the world of Disney and sometimes even just the world of theme parks, because 
my family enjoys going to like Universal Studios and other places too. So from time to time, we may kind of step into other areas of pop culture, but mostly it's Disney trivia. You can find that here at 7.30 on Tuesday and on Saturday. Tomorrow, Marvel time is here at noon and uh, Ben and Mac will be discussing the latest uh, comic book releases along with some of the Marvel, Marvel news on July 1st. I am super excited because Tony has asked me to join him to co-host the, um, to, well, he's host and I'm just helping out. And we are uh, going to be doing live coverage of the return of fireworks at Walt Disney World. We're gonna have Happily Ever After at Magic Kingdom and Epcot fireworks, uh, Epcot Forever fireworks. So we're gonna be hosting that here live at Laughing Place. So please be sure to tune in to see that. Along with Friday, I think we have a live walk and talk inside Disneyland. So we'll be bringing you, uh, you know, enjoyable views from from inside well, uh, Disneyland Resort on Friday. Look at, check it out, Jeffrey. Jeffrey's there a lot, so I'm I'm excited. Oh, Juby says the topics are survey says and fractured Disneyland Resort attractions. Mm. So there you have it. So as always, lots going on, lots of things you can buy. Becca and the team always gathering up so much news and information here at laughing place be sure to check out the links below if you enjoyed this please give us a like it helps other people find us it helps boost our visibility uh, it also makes us feel like you know you enjoyed it so that kind of kind of nice too um but i guess that's it from us here at barely necessities uh see you soon bye bye